Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Leaf by Alma Souffre, requested by Hugo B. Designer. Dear front page, here's a map that could reach you. In a few days, it will be a map that could have reached you. I'll soon release an expanded version which will not reach you, simply because it could not reach you, for the enjoyment of all those who will reach the exit door, or could reach it, or could have reached it. Logical Chamber, Basic Moves, a step is inspired by another map by Enigmatic. And holy crap, eight of my friends have favorited it. Well, let's see what's so awesome about this map. A laser right off the bat. Laser that we can use to turn off a light bridge. Why do we want to turn off a light bridge, I just wonder. That seems to be all that does, actually. And there's another light bridge over there. That's glass. <laughs> what do we have here? A lower area. Interesting. This must be... a return path, maybe? Perhaps? <laughs> I like how there's a little glass window for the ant line to travel through, that's adorable. Not sure about this glass window, though. That must be for a laser to travel through. Interesting. Oh, this is why... we have a faith plate here. And it's also disabled as long as the light bridge is on, I'm assuming. Clever, that way you can't, like, abuse any sort of glitches or anything. We have an area down here that we would want to get to. Oh yeah, so this is just anti-trapping, then. Yeah, cause if you do this... Oh! That's a funnel, apparently. Let me, uh... Ouch. Let me- let me just place my portals back, please. There we go. So we have a cube. Right, and we need to go turn off the light bridge to get it. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. That works. So now all we gotta do is pick up the cube and then decide what to do next. Cause this fizzler... I don't think anything turns off the fizzler. At least I haven't seen a connection yet. Let's go look. Yeah, this fizzler is... Oh no, this'll turn it off. So, this will turn off the Fizzler, that's good to know. We can see it from there, interestingly enough. What will we use this for, though? Guess we'll find out later. Right, so... Where else can we go? Right, we can access that from here. But... we can't do much else. There's another one of these... Faithplate light bridge contraptions. Can't get over there. Huh. So maybe we should launch the cube with the faithplate? That's what I'm assuming. So if I put this cube here and then turn off the light bridge, the faith will probably launch it into the funnel, right? That's what I'm thinking. I think I've actually done stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, in my Ghost Helper 2 map I did that. Oh, come on. Right, wrong portal circuit. <laughs> there we go, that's how you do it. And now we can get the cube out here. Ta-da! Excellent. Let's go ahead and save on that account. Right, now that we have the cube out here, what exactly do we want to do with it? These need to be aim-assisted. And yeah, look at that. This would be so much easier if they were aim-assisted. So that turns off... Oh, interesting. So that turns on the sizzler here, so we can no longer portal there. But why? Is that to pre I bet this is just to prevent us from walking through this portal. This is an out-only portal. Now the question is... I bet it could also be to prevent us from standing here and, like, moving the portal to... to adjust it to do that, because then we could launch ourselves into the funnel. That's probably unintended. Hang on, let me- let me swap my portals around here, cause this is not the way I like to have my portals. 
this is actually- yeah, this is not the way I like to have him, but in a moment here, you'll see what I mean. So we'll do this. There we go. And then we can do that. And here we go, now we have input-output the way I like it. And, uh, let's- let's raise this a little bit. There we go. Actually, I need to go through here first. I need to aim this. If I aim this right about there... Yeah, that should work. Perfect. First try. Right, so now we don't need to use that, but I'm not really sure that this benefits me in any way. But at least we have the cube in here and the laser in here. So I suppose next we can do this. Yeah, that's what I would assume. That launches us up here. But why do I want to be up here? I can portal myself... somewhere. But... where? At least the nice thing is if I place portals somewhere, I can easily fix it. Like, I can't- I can't see that portal. Pretty sure... I don't even know if that Fizzler turns off. Alright, well let's- let's just try doing stuff. So that intersects with the funnel. What can we do... from this height level? Not much. Not much at all. Hmm. I think we want to hit that at some point, right? But... Not yet, because all that does is the light bridge, so we don't need to do that yet. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I think I actually... I see now. I see now! Let's reload my quick save, please. I don't actually need to get into the funnel from there. I just need it to... Oh, it'll- it'll fizzle the cube, but it will get me across. Right, so... Let's go ahead and hop out here. Yeah, so if I do this, it will fizzle the cube, but it will also get me across. Although... I might be able to save the cube if I'm lucky. Oh crap, nope. No saving that cube. I could kinda grab it and, like, place it, but... No, that's too tricky to do. Let's just let it be fizzled. So yeah, now I can get over here. This is just a way back, I'm assuming. Huh. What about over here? Okay, why did I come over here again? Maybe I don't actually need the laser cube inside there, so let's- let's undo that, in that case. I could just take it out. Yeah, that'll- that would work, too. That would work, too. Right, and then... I could just... I could just set it up like this, for instance. Right? What else would I want to do with it? Maybe I didn't want to save just now, but that's okay, we can easily fix this. Anyway, now, let's do this. The, f the cube does not get fizzled, but it's in place, I assume. For us to walk over here... ...and do... this. Uh-huh. And then we can do... But then what? We can at least do that much. But I'm not convinced that that's helpful at all. 
I think we almost want the cube to be up there so that we can aim it at this guy. How might we accomplish that, though? I don't know, let's find out. Yeah, we'll place portal back here. And... Let's say... And yeah, we'll do this step first, so that way we can get in here at the very least. Lock it down there. Place the portal there. We walk inside. Ah, yes, because if I could do this, that would make things very easy. Yeah, if I could do that, then I could get myself and the cube up there and position them. So that- this blocks that as well. Interesting. see anything useful from through here. Oh my gosh, let me jump over the laser, thank you. Yeah, can't see anything useful. We can point it at this, but then that only gets us up here. Oh, and then we can just place- yeah, we can just place the portal from up here. Of course. There you go. Problem solved. Yeah, I made that harder than it needed to be. Clever puzzle design, I like that. Right, next, we want to align this with the funnel... ...such that it points at that. I think that should work. We will save. Yes, we can see that from here, excellent. Well, it doesn't really matter that much. Hop out through here. Plonk a portal under the funnel. And now we can head over here. Clever! We have to use both sides of the light bridge, I like that. So now we can do... that. Actually, I don't- I guess we don't really need to walk over there, but we still need to walk over there. And... YES! That's exactly what's supposed to happen. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Alright, so, now we're up here. Right, I don't even know where the exit is. The exit's right there. And all it needs is that guy. Which means... Oh man, so first... What would this portal surface be for? Because this is the one that- this is the last one we would use when we would have the cube- we'd place the cube here and aim it at that, and that would open the exit, and then we'd have to have a way to get back. Nothing turns off this fizzler, right? Yeah, we have to portal in and out of here. Huh. Let's go ahead and save here, because I'm pretty sure I've done everything correct up to this point. We can aim at this from... Ah, oh, that's what it's for. So we can place a portal here, and this'll allow us to get back. Right? Yeah. And then the question is... what do we do next? Because we want to maintain a portal in there. How am I gonna get the cube back? These do line up, so there's at least that much going for us. Alright, let's just head back and see what we can do. So we 
done that. Uh huh. How does that help, though? <laughs> How do I get my cube back? Because now I have to keep portals in there. Oh! <laughs> I'm being dumb. I am being dumb. It's- it's pretty simple, actually. Alright, so. Yes, I can safely walk through there. There you go. Now the cube is in the funnel. Ta-da! Now the question is getting the cube here. Cause we don't want it to end up... I don't want it to end up here. That would be bad. Ah, I suppose let's just do it this way. Yeah, that'll work. Then let's place a portal... there. And... there. And then we should be able to put the cube... Oh no, that's not gonna work. No, we have to get the... Hmm... do this, it doesn't really help us much. There's not much at this height level that we can aim at that would help us. We can't see the exit thing through that glass window. We can see this, but it's not too useful, really. <laughs> Didn't even aim it properly. Alright, so I need to be back into the left a little bit. And no, I did not mean to reference Seinfeld when I said that. There, that should do it. There's that. Of course. Could also just do this, but, you know, why not do it the other way? does this for us, right? That would at least allow us to get... back. But then we still have the issue of the cube being trapped here. So maybe we leave the cube out there, then. Which means I need to do some shuffling here. So we head back here, take the cube back out. Put the cube, uh, here-ish. Why not? This seems like a safe place. Head back up here. Yeah, we should be able to move our portals at will. See, now the issue... We want to keep our portal in that room. It's like, if we do this, we can walk over here, but this return path requires us to clear our portal, so I don't want to do that. Nothing turns this fizzler off. Oh no! Haha! <laughs> oh no! This is what- this was a mistake! This was a huge mistake! Because now, I can't be standing on here and seeing the laser at the same time. So as soon as I put my portal underneath the laser... Yep. <laughs>
That was a mistake. What might we want to do instead? So where... we want to get the cube here, right? So... Maybe if we place it in line of that... Oh yes! Okay, I see now. I think I see now. So if we- we have the laser coming out of here, the cube is here, and pointing at that, it'll turn off the fizzler, and we can place a portal there, and a portal there, and that will allow us to funnel the cube to here. And then we can just do this, and that, and the other thing, and the cube will launch up to us. Yes! Got it. Right, so let's go ahead and do that much, at the very least. We gotta keep portals up here the whole time, but that's- that's doable. So let's see... Portal there... Portal there... Let's do this. I like this little placement helper. This is very nice and kind of you to have done this. I appreciate it. Right. Portal there. Portal there. Yes. Progress. Ha! I like that. That's cool. And then we can do this. Yeah, there we go. That should work. Then we can do this. And any moment now. Yay! Come to me, cube. Gotcha! Yes! Perfect. It's exactly what we wanted to do. Yep, now the exit's open. Now we all gotta do is get there. We already know how to do that. Simple enough. Portal there. Portal there. Portal here. Portal here. And we're done. Excellent map. I enjoyed that. Very well done. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye! Let me add that to my favorites.